Raise your voice. You want to <coughs> read, please raise your voice. Final love of the Lukata. Lukata refers to any love property excluding animal found by someone. Islam, the true religion, enjoys the protection, safekeeping, and taking care of one's fellow Muslim property, even in case of lost and found property. Right. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Salatu wa salamu ala qatil nabiyyin wa sayyid al-mursaleen sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Today our uh, subject is about al-luqatah. Uh, Al-Luqatah. Luqatah. And Luqatah has come from the root, from the verb, Arabic verb, Laqata. Okay? Laqata or Laqata. Which means to pick. Okay? Laqata, I said, Laqattu, as we, you see, Laqattu, I pick the pen. Laqat. Okay? So anything with person, Take it, it's called Luqa. But here, this term in fact refers to something that you found and you don't know who is he, I mean the, the, the person or the owner, and you take it. So take it something that you found. As I said, lost and found. Okay? Something that you found in your way or any place, you don't know who is uh, the owner, and took it, then we say we call this object as what? Luqa. Luqa. Uh, this as the Sheikh says will exclude, exclude animals. Exclude animals. Okay, why? Because the animal is moving. The animal is moving. <laughs> the animal is moving. Well, animals are moving. So, when we are not called it as Luqafa. You cannot find it in the same place. There is other expression for any. Alas, like a ball, the lost, okay, uh, animal that lost its, its way. But for any other object, this includes money. Okay, you found the money. You found watch. You found, uh, for example, a phone device. Okay, mobile or whatever. Then, okay, anything. This is called Luqata. And then the Sheikh started by saying, the religion enjoys protection, safekeeping, and taking care of one's fellow Muslims' property. This is the point here. You know, my dear brothers, in Islam, the personal belonging, or whatever the person is own, is protected by Islam. Why? Because a Muslim should not take something that is not his. وَلَا تَأْكُلُوا أَمْوَالَكُمْ بَيْنَكُمْ بِالْبَعْضِ You should not take the money of others or anything that belongs to others without any right reason. So therefore, here we are speaking about what the rules now. If you found something which is in your way. Islam here both certain rules. Why? Because not everybody, if he found something, will leave it. Right or not? There are some people they will take advantage of this. And they will take it. Others, because they are God fearing, they will leave it. And some of these rules now, it may not be applied now, because now maybe there are certain a government agency that can take care of whatever laws and found, okay? Uh, but here, the Muslim, anyway, he should know this and should process whenever he comes across such this situation. So here, inshallah, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll see how the Muslim do if he found lost object, something in his way. Should he take it? Should he leave it? If he took it, what should he do with it? Is this uh, the rules? Is it, I mean, the, the rules, is it the same everywhere? 
I mean, you found it in the street, you found it in uh, Jeddah, for example, you found it in Mecca, because Mecca has this land, haram, special rules. So all this, inshallah, will be discussed in this chapter. Now, a lost property is surely one of the following three kinds. One, an insignificant object. A lost property can be an article that people do not usually care about, such as a whip, a loaf of bread, a fruit, a stick, and the like. If someone finds such a lost object, it is permiss- permissible for him to take it and make use of it at once without advertising having found it. To illustrate Jabir, well, uh, may Allah speak with him narrated, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam gave us permission concerning six ropes, whips, or such like things which a man of us which a man of us may find accidentally that one may benefit from them. Related by Allah. Five. Now the Shaykh explained now uh, about regarding certain types of objects. The first thing, فَإِذَا ضَلَّ مَالٌ عَنْ صَاحِبِهِ فَلَا يَخْلُو مِنْ إِحْدَثَ Okay? If anything was lost of his uh, owner, I mean of something, now we can classify it in three, huh? three categories, or three types. The first one, okay, it says, أَنْ يَكُونَ مِمَّنْ لَا تَتَّبِعُ هِمَّةَ أَوْصَاطِ النَّاسِ What does it mean, Ibrahim? What does it mean? It means that there are certain objects that when the person loses, he doesn't care. Like for example, a pen with half a real, okay, or pencil which costs only 25 halal. It was lost. The person who loses this very cheap thing, he will not go back and Search for it. Right or not? You go to your, and then you found that, oh, you, you, your pencil, you know, pulled down of you. Are you going to take taxi, return to the same place and search for it? You are not. Okay, bye. Somebody found it. What should he do with it? Should he leave it? No. Now you can take it and use it. You benefit from it. No problem. Why? Because this is something is what? Insignificant. Huh? Insignificant for the owner. Doesn't cause that much. Doesn't mean that much for him. Okay? He's not concerned if he find, found it or not. And here the Shaykh, you know, gave example of rope, stick. This is what they used to use before. Okay? Somebody used stick uh, in his way and then he lost it. He can find another stick, no problem. Rope. Okay? All these things is as example. And I gave his example of pencil and maybe something less. Okay? Uh, your, for example, Pagiya, uh, what they call it, Kirkab, for example, if it's not real, two real or something like this, it doesn't mean that much. So these things, if you found it, you can what? You can pick it and you can use it and benefit. In a state of it stands there, to, nobody will benefit from it. Okay? And here, uh, the Shaykh referred to the Dalil. I mean, this was not, well, was not just a faceless uh, ruling, but it was based on Dalil that was reported by Jabir. Who is Jabir? Jabir ibn Abdullah. This is a Sahabi, the Prophet ﷺ. Jabir, he said that the Messenger of Allah gave us permission. Gave us permission. Okay? Therefore, that means you are permitted to take such things and benefit. And he gave example, take throws and the like. So this is the third step. Now. Second, animals safe from small predators. The second kind of lost properties is animals that can defend themselves against small wild beasts by means of their big size, such as camels, horses, cows, or moose, or by means of flying, such as birds, or by means of running past, such as antelopes, or by using their canine teeth, such as cheetahs. Now, 
Now, this is the second thing. What is it? Mostly animals or birds. What, why? He said, these kinds of animals or birds, they can protect themselves. Protect themselves. Okay? For the camel or an elephant, it was lost from the owner. But there is no fear. Why? Because it can protect itself. Till maybe the owner will, um, for sure will search for it and will find it. Uh, some, and you know, the animals and birds, they, they use different way for self-defense, right or not? Okay? Some, they depend on their huh, speed. Some, they fly away. Some, because they are powerful. Okay? So these kinds, it's not lawful to, to take them. Because, he has even seen here, uh, uh, the Prophet Sallallahu mentioned about this, and we'll talk about this hadith. But he said, وَلَا يَمْلِكُهُ آخِرُ بِتَعْرِيفِ You should not take it, and you have no right, if you take it, to own it, if you ask about the owner, and you didn't find him. Why? Because it will come with us that, there are certain things, that if you find it, you can take it, and search for the owner, for certain period, certain time, and then if you didn't find it, then okay, to make announcement, we'll talk about this, then you can own it. So here he mentioned here, about these animals that can protect themselves, you have no right to, to take it, just leave it, because it will protect itself, and then there is time for the owner will, will search for them and find it. Now, and here gave the dalil. What is the dalil here, Sheikh Mahir? Uh, it is prohibited. Yeah, the daddy. Oh, stop the daddy. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. It is prohibited to pick up such kinds of lost animals and take them on the pretext that they are lost property. Such animals cannot be possessed when found, even if the finder advertises having found them. When the man who found the lost camel asked the Prophet Wasallam what to do, and he Wasallam replied, "It is none of your concern. It has its feet and its water container reservoir." It can go on drinking water and eating leaves of trees until its owner finds it. Related by Al-Bukhari Muslim. Yeah, this is hadith is متفقون This hadith is متفقون عليه, and this means that it was reported by the two Shaykh Al-Bukhari and Muslim. Whenever it said رواه الشيخان or متفقون عليه, that means was narrated or reported by whom? Huh? By Al-Bukhari wa Muslim rahimahumullahu ta'ala. So here the Prophet gave the, you know, the reason why. Okay? And sometimes the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he may not give the reason. But here to make it understood that, why, why should you care about it? Okay? It can, because such animals, they can take care of them. They can look for, when you take them for food, or they can go and find, look for the water, okay, and they can protect themselves. Therefore, just leave it till their owner finds it. Now, moreover, Umar ibn Khattab said, whoever takes a lost animal that he finds is considered to have gone astray. Now, he is misguided. That means he should not do it. So, this is another dalil. The dalil is from whom? From whom? From the chain of Umar ibn al-Khattab. Right. Can we take dalil from Umar ibn al-Khattab? Or not? Yes, yes. yes we can. Because of what? <laughs> ah, because of the four guided khalif and we were commanded to follow their <laughs> sunnah. Plus, if any of the sahaba, if any of the sahaba say something and no other sahabi object to what he said, then we take it. Okay? Why? Because for us, all the, sah- the Sahaba of the Prophet are what? Truthful and honest. And just. So we don't reject anything of the Sahaba. It was authentic narration. From any of the Sahaba. Unless there is dispute in this matter. Okay? There's, uh, some say this and he found others 
If the Sahaba they don't agree with him, then it will be another thing. Okay, otherwise, if somebody in the Sahaba says something that was approved, especially if it was approved, and he says in, in the presence of more of the Sahaba, that means they was they approved what he said. Right. Right. Now, according to the aforementioned hadith, the Prophet ﷺ enjoins Muslims to leave such a lost animal alone to reach water and eat the leaves of tree until its owner finds it. The same ruling applies to big objects and tools such as large pots, wooden articles, iron articles, and all such large things that can hard that can hardly be lost or moved from their places. Picking up such large objects and taking them as lost properties is prohibited. It is even more entitled to be prohibited than the aforesaid kind of lost animals. Why? Anything which is, it is not easy to be moved. Because why the purpose that you take something which is, you know, uh, lies? Because you didn't take somebody else, would take, right? But if you found something which is very big, if it needs to be taken, that means need what? Uh, you know, planning. If you get cars, you get something, you... Uh, you know. So there, there's no need to take it because it, it will, at least because it's very heavy or very large, it will stay and it's still. Not everyone will concern about take it. Usually people, they care about what? taking something which is small and light and have value for them. Now, three, money, belongings and animals menaced by small predators. The third kind of lost article is property such as money, belongings and animals that cannot defend themselves against small wild beasts. Five, now this is the third type. Okay? The third type. So the first type, what we said, what is it? Something which has no value for the one. Okay? Sorry. The second is animals that can protect themselves or they can take care of themselves or a lot, uh, I mean, a large object. Okay. Now the second, we have animals but they cannot protect themselves. Like sheep. Small sheep. Why? Because the sheep, if we didn't take it, will be taken by the wolf or by the fox or by somebody else. Okay? So this is something different here. Right? And here we will uh, explain that something, sa'ir uh, al anything else other than what was mentioned, okay, in the first category, the second category, will come under this category. Okay? Like money, gold, anything else. Now, for the animals here, the animals that small, that cannot take care of themselves. Now, and for these animals, there is also another subcategory that will explain it now. Now, animals that cannot defend themselves against small wild beasts such as sheep, wheat, camels, and cows. It is permissible for the person who is confident of his own trustworthiness to pick up and keep such kinds of lost articles which fall which fall under three categories. A. Lawfully edible animals such as wheat, camels, eaves and ends. If a person finds such a lost animal, he is permitted to use it in one of the following three ways that benefits its owner, benefits its original owner most. One, he can eat it and thus owes his price to the owner. Now he took it, he found it, if he left it, it will be taken by the wall, like a sheep, by somebody else. So now you take it, but when you take it, okay, not only just to benefit from it, but the intention that you will what? Uh, protect it and save it for its owner. This is the intention first. So here it is something that could be eaten. Okay? Like sheep, like chicken, like... And we eat it, no problem, we can eat it. But, huh, the value will be given to the owner if he came and asked for it. 
Right? This is one. Now, second one. He can sell it and keep its price to give it to its owner when he appears and find the finder is certain that he is the real owner. Right. When you find something, what should you do? Like this. Okay. First of all, you should know exactly huh, uh, the, the quality, the appearance, the description of this animal. Why? Because maybe somebody will come and claim. Right or not? So when you claim it, you ask him, okay, describe it for me. Not anybody will come and claim anything, you can give it to him. He will come and say, I lost camel, yeah, I found it, take it. No. Maybe he is not the right owner. Should you see something which unique about this animal? That only its owner knows it. Okay? And then you can sell it. But what you do with the money? You keep it, or if you spend it, at least when the, the owner comes, okay, and identify this animal, say, yes, that's mine, then you should pay for him what? The price that you got when you sold this animal. Clear? No. Three, he can keep it without possessing it, provided it with food and uh, life at his own expense. And then get back what he has spent from his owner when he appears to reclaim it. Now, right. There is something that he said, I will not eat it. And he will not sell it. Right? But this animal needs what? Huh? Feeding. Yeah, feeding, taking care. Okay, maybe take it to a... Uh, the clinic, okay, maybe uh, may spend a lot of uh, uh, money in getting, you know, some grass, something for it. So I record whatever you spend, and you can keep it. And when the owner comes, he said, yes, I found it. This is with me, but I spend this money since I found it till this time. So yes, so he pay, pay you what? What he spent and he get his his money. Now, when the Prophet Sallallahu was asked about ruling on finding a lost and own, ownerless Eve, he Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam replied, "Take it, for it is either for you or your brother, that is for another fellow who may find it, or for the wolf." Yeah. What does this mean? The Prophet when he asked him, he said about this, for example, sheep or something which is, you know, little, you know, animal. The Prophet he said, take it because, and here the reason. Either you take it, or if it is, somebody else will take it. Nobody will leave it. And if none, then it will be left, then the wolf will take it. So either for you or your brother, Okay, or for the world, just better here, but that you say, you take care of it. Now, now, the hadith means that the lost ownerless E was weak and liable to perish, so it would be better to be taken by the man who found it. For if he would not take it, someone else would do, otherwise, the wolf would eat it. Committing on this hadith, it will say you. No, said, this hadith implies the permissibility of picking up and taking a lost sheep, and that if the owner of a lost sheep does not come to pay it, it will belong to the one who has found it, thus he can eat it and owe its, owe its price to the owner, or sell it and keep its price to, the, to be given to the owner when he appears, or keep it and feed, feed it at his own expense. Scholars unanimously agree that its owner has the right to take it back if he comes before it is eaten by the one who has found it. Right. Now this is the Ima. Ima. Because he said that if you, if the person he found like this sheep or this goat and you kept it and said inshallah tomorrow we'll have dinner on this goat. Right? But in the morning came the person, the owner, and he said, well, I know, or somebody told me, he knew that you found my, 
my god you say well we have already been planned you know for party so how come you can take it now we'll eat it and give you the money no here he has the right what to take it back to give it to him but if you did already eat it then pay the the money the price of this gold for us or as we say you give it to him or you if you already sold it then you pay him the price or the money that that you got right but in case that he didn't appear then it's yours it's not okay and why people they are care to take it people will take you know care to take it sometimes because he knows that nobody will ask about it okay so the person he took it and nobody asked and now will explain uh, the way how to advertise you know that the found object inshallah now how long do you have to wait we'll talk about it be perishable when the found object is liable to become rotten such as watermelon and fruit one finds it should do what best benefits the owner the finder can eat it and pay its uh, price to the owner or sell it and keep its price to be given to the owner when he needs it so there are some certain things if you find it okay you if you didn't use it it will be what soil okay that mean is no 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 astaghfirullah i will not take this box of mo of bananas which is this cost maybe he he paid a lot of money okay i will leave it aside maybe he will come next week <laughs> by the time he come it's already what soil soil then he didn't help him in fact but either you eat it okay or you sell it at this time and keep the money in this way you you protect it now there maybe you can use it put it in the refrigerator if it's not spoiled it's okay but this is the the ruling is important thing that there is you now we should be careful don't waste anything because if you just left it that means waste now see all kinds of properties excluding a and b such as money and utensils If one finds such a lost article, one must keep it with him as a trust and advertise having found it. However, no one is permitted to pick up any lost article. No, and let's let's just stop here. Okay, this is the third type, and the third type, as the category, as he says, anything which is not included in what we just mentioned, like money, uh, gold, for example, right. something right. that. Uh, valuable, okay, but you can keep it. Can't be spoiled, okay. You can spend on it. So this means that what we were mentioned before, that if the owner did not appear, then he will not be questioned. That it is yours, correct? Right. But if he appear and ask. Then you either give him the price if you sold it, or the price if you consume it. Okay. But it didn't mention here that you have to go and advertise it for the previous things. Now we come for something which different rule, valuable things that can wait and be spoiled. Okay. or or uh, cannot be consumed yeah, that means you can say this and wait and look for the uh, the owner therefore if you find any of this thing you can take it also but there is what ha huh? responsibility of a new to what to advertise that means to announce and the announcement here that should be in very smart way Okay, that means, for example, if you found a computer, for example, you don't go in the front of the masjid or in front of people who are sitting and say, "I found computer or device like this, 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 this," and you, everybody like he's looking at it, and then said, "Who is this?" Everybody will say, "This is mine." Okay, but he said, "I found a watch." 
వాళ్ళు ఎవరు అని రైట్ ఐ ఫౌండ్ ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఇది యూనో మొబైల్ వాలీబుల్ వన్ విత్ మీ ఎనిబడి హూ లో సెల్ మొబైల్ ఓకే డిస్క్రైబ్ ఇట్ టు మీ ఎవ్ ఇట్ డస్ ఇట్ ఫిట్ ద డిస్క్రిప్షన్ దేర్ వాస్ ఐ విల్ పే ఇట్ ఫర్ ఇఫ్ హి డిడ్ దిస్ మీన్ హి డైల్ ఓకే హౌవర్ నో వన్ ఇస్ పర్మిటెడ్ టు పిక్ అప్ ఎనీ లాస్ట్ ఆర్టికల్ అండ్ కీప్ ఇట్ అండర్ he is confident of his own trustworthiness and able to define his description when necessary right so this is a very important condition first of all that he is worth honest that means he is not of the people that take advantage of these things i mean weak in project money and gold that he may take it and if somebody ask about it he will not give it back or he doesn't he doesn't want to take or carry the responsibility of what of announcing or advertising uh, what the, whatever he found therefore if he doesn't meet this condition that he should not take it so this is the first the first point second that he should also strong enough to protect it take care of it not just leave it maybe other uh, somebody else will take it and here the hadith What is the Dalit? Now, to illustrate Zayf bin Khalid al-Juhani, Rahim al-Rillah one, narrated, a man asked the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam about the ruling on finding lost gold or silver, that is money. And, and he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam replied, remember the description of his container, that is the purse or the life, and the string in it is tied with, and make public announcement about it, for one year. Then if no one identifies it, you can utilize it, but you have to keep it as a trust. And if its owner shows up to claim it at any time afterwards, give it to him. Then the man asks him about the ruling on finding a lost sheep. He, Prophet ﷺ replied, take it for it is either for you, for your brother, or for the world. Now, so this is the hadith, very clear. If you find something, like for example, the wallet, the wallet, and in the wallet there is money, there is for example, cars, name, with name, or something, but you cannot, you know, get, uh, you cannot find the owner. If you can find, for example, his phone number or something that refers to him, and you can call, okay, this is the best way. But if you don't know, then you make, uh, make announcements. Nowadays, maybe you, there's, if there's board, you can put in a board, you can advertise, for example, in the newspaper, mm-hmm. okay, on the radio broadcasting, there's some, there's some private uh, uh, radio stations, which is always, they, they depend on uh, advertisement. It doesn't, doesn't cost that much. Okay. Or you go to a place in the market. Usually you know that people, whenever they do something, they go to a certain place to look for it. Okay, like in Haram. When anybody does anything, there is an office. Okay. And the police or department that take care of the lost and found. Okay. Or in the store, for example. So you go to these places and make announcements. make advertisement okay but first of all you should memorize everything about the description of what you found okay you should not forget this right and then so somebody claim it you ask him okay you said that you lost the wallet, your wallet ya ali okay what's the color of the wallet okay what's the size how does it look like what's inside it Okay, anything which only as we said the owner know at this Christian. Right? Now, After you take that, it and then for the whole year, okay, try your best. Every Friday, once a month, whatever, you tell people and the time passing and nobody claim this. wallet to this property or this object 
What should you do? Now it's become used. You can use it. You can consume it. Okay? It is lawful for you. But, look at this. It is considered as trust in your side in case the owner appear even after 10 years. Okay? So if the owner did not appear, okay, then you are not questioning you to do something about it. Use it. Okay? But if somebody, for example, after two years, three years, okay, came and claim it and give you, uh, he gave you the, the right description, you should not, what, deny it. He said, yes, I found it, but I didn't find you, you know, for the whole year, year, okay, and then I spend it, I use it, okay, no problem, but it's considered for your side as, as this, because it's trust in your side. So you try to get it and give it back to him. But if nobody asks for it, you are not responsible to go and spend it in any place. You can use it like anything else. Hello? Yeah. yeah. After that, the Professor was asked about the ruling on finding a lost camel. Mm-hmm. And he replied, it is none of your concern. It has its feet and its water container, whatever. It can go on drinking water and eating leaves of the feet until its owner finds it. Related by Bukhari and Muslim. Now, before we, we, we discussed this before, now. By saying, make public announcement about it for one year, the Prophet ﷺ wants the person who picks up such a lost property, gold, silver or money, to announce the description of the lost article whenever people, wherever people assemble, such as marketplaces in front of mosques, and in meetings and gatherings for one year. During the first week, such a person is required to make public announcements about the lost article every day, as it is more likely that the owner will be searching for it to claim it during the first week. Now, for the first week, the owner, you know, for sure, the, the one who always, you know, whenever anybody lost anything, he'll find him run right away to look for it and search and ask. So there is a good chance that if you announce it in these places, that the owner will appear. So in this for the first week, as you mentioned, you should do it what? Mm-hmm. Uh, daily, every day. For example, you go at Salat al-Asr, for example, okay, uh, outside when, or in the market in the morning, whatever it is, and tell people, as we said, you can put uh, post, uh, an ad, or an anyway, not necessarily that you uh, you talk about it. That doesn't mean you go inside the message and make the announcement. Okay, there's something that should put it outside where people get uh, get there. But you should at the beginning. That, and this is why this to to try hard in the first week to search for the owner, and then it depends on what on the custom that's known in the community. Okay? Like for example, some community, they meet once a month in a market that once a month. And in this month, anybody who uh, lost anything, he used to come and look for it in this day. Because this is the day that all people gather from different villages. Okay? Right? So in this case, that means every month you go there and talk about it or make announcement about it. So here it depends on the and as we said, these days, what's the custom of the people? Huh? To make advertisement through newspaper, through broadcasting, through uh, putting posting in places where lost and found or, or any of this. Huh? After this week is over, the finder is to follow the common convention in his making a public announcement about it. The affirmation hadith indicates the obligation of making a public announcement about finding a lost article. The Prophet Sallallahu words remember the description of its container, that is the purse or the light, and the thing it is tied with, indicate that it is obligatory upon the finder to know the description of the found object. 
Thus, when its owner comes and describes it correctly, it must be given back to him. However, if a person gives a false description of a lost article, it is promised, impermissible to give it to him. The Prophet said, then if one identifies it, you can utilize it. That is very important. Then if no one identifies it, you can utilize it. Yeah, it is very important. Okay, we should be what? Smart and wise. Okay, uh, not give the description. Okay, you may say wallet. Okay, watch, mobile, computer, whatever. But don't give the make or okay the size, for example, the color, the brand. Okay, the brand, or any of these things that only the owner knows. Okay. Now, this implies that after one year, the lost article belongs to the finder. After making the necessary public announcement about having found it. However, the finder should not make use of it unless he knows its description, its container, or purse, prime, material, amount, kind, and such distinctive descriptions. If its owner comes after one year and describes it correctly, it must be given back to him as the Prophet said. And if its owner shows up to reclaim it at any time afterwards, give it to him. In the light of the above, the ruling on finding lost objects can be summarized as follows. Okay, we'll stop here because this would make more... Because uh, it's already 9 15, I think. So we'll stop and next week we shall continue with this uh, part, which is about five, yeah, about six or seven, seven eight. eight. Mr. one question. Yes. For these items, should this person write in his will that he found it in his country? Oh. Uh, uh-huh. Alhamdulillah, you recorded, sir. Stop.